Okay, so I'm going to show you how to measure your pet. So first, you will need a fur baby. Take off her collar. Hopefully you can see this okay. So we're going to start off with a few measurements. Um, you just want to make sure that your dog is standing upright. If they are laying down or sitting, you might get inaccurate measurements. So we're going to start off by taking the neck. It's easiest if you take off the collar. And so take that measurement. It's about a 13, so I'm going to write that down. Then we're going to do the chest which is right behind the back leg, or the right behind the front legs. And then the waist, which is about right here, right behind their rib cage. The hardest measurement to get is their back is their back length from the base hi it's from the base of their neck down to the tail. See she's, she's bending, it's gonna be hard for me. Hey, look over here. Hey, okay. thank you. Hard to get that measurement. And if you are doing sleeves, you want to measure from where the the leg meets the body down to the ground is what you want to get that measurement. So make sure you mark those measurements and then we will get to grading. Okay, my cat is probably super confused because she's not allowed in here, but I'm going to take her measurements also. So again, around the neck, under the, for the chest, waist again, right under where the rib cage is. So I do not do the full back length for the cat. The last time I did, it was too long, um, and she kind of stayed on the ground. I find that cats don't really like to have material kind of where their little pooch is. So if it stops right before their little pooch, I think I feel like it's a little more comfortable for them. So I'm not going to worry too much about the back length um, for her. So I'm just going to take the neck, chest, and waist. And again, if you want to do sleeves, you would measure from where their leg connects to their body down to the floor while they're standing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and print. Um, just print the um, just print the the layers for the measurements that you're for baby falls into it'll make grading a whole lot easier if you only print the ones that are for your pet and um, so go ahead and do that and then we will get grading um, our pattern the hardest part about the pet pajamas is grading so I'm gonna start off with Bella my dog and um, I have all of her three sizes printed um, and I marked down here what her measurements, um, what size they fall into. That way I know it, that way it's easier for me. You're also going to need a pen and a ruler. So I want to start off by with the chest measurement. For Bella it is a 7. I mean I need a grade to a 5 for the neck. So I'm just going to draw a straight line from the neck or from the point of the seven down to the neck.
I'm going to do that same thing on her back piece. So what you are going to want to do here is measure the two because they're more likely going to be uneven. Three and five eighths. Oh my gosh, it took too long. And this one. Is about three and three eighths. So that's a little bit different. So you can either make this one longer or this one this one longer or this one shorter. Um, so I'm last time I made this the neck longer, um, but I'm gonna make the back shorter. So I'm gonna put a So that actually falls right here on the size 8 line, so I'm just going to draw this line in, and I'll cut it out on that line. And we're going to do that same thing for the chest, or for her waist, and again draw a line. Um, here, down to here. And do the same thing on um, the back piece. And again, measure that to see how long it is. So since her back length is a little bit shorter um, than what size 8 is, I'm going to go with um, the smaller measurement um, and just shorten this one a tad. I'm just going to cheat and just draw it in. Okay, so now Bella is graded. Now I'm going to do a cat. I'm kind of in denial that I might have um, that she's a six for her waist, but I don't know where she is to remeasure her, so we'll just go with that. I printed also a five, just in case, but I don't know where she is. So I'm gonna start off with the three, which is this one. So start off by drawing a line from the neck to the neck size. And that is two inches. And that is two and one fourth. So I'm just gonna go to two. 
and that measurement falls again right with this one so I'm just gonna go with that that way the shoulders will match up and then we'll do that same thing for the side seam starting with the three and I'm going to go down to the 16 actually I'm not I'm going to go down to the five because I'm in denial that she's that big and cats are slinky so So again, I'm going to go with the shorter measurement. But I'm going to cheat and not cut and slash my pattern. Okay, so that is that. I'm going to use the leg bands that correspond with the chest and the neck band, of course, that corresponds with the neck. So go ahead and cut those out and cut out your fabric and then we'll come back and sew those up. Now with our pajamas cut out for our fur babies, we're going to go ahead and match up the shoulder seams right sides together and the side seams right sides together and go ahead and pin those up.
So both these pin, go ahead and sew them up. You can also sew your leg bands and neck bands at this time. Now with everything sewn, go ahead and turn it right side out. And get your cuffs that you sewn and put them wrong sides together, matching up the center front and back in quarter points and also marking that on the main, pa um, main bodice as well. With everything pinned, go ahead and match up your cuffs and bands to your pajamas. Now with all of our cuffs attached, and if you are doing the sleeve version, your sleeve and um, sleeve cuff should also be attached. Um, now we're now going to hem the bottom. Um, it is a one inch hem allowance. So go ahead and clip your threads, and then go ahead and pin that all the way around, and then we'll sew up the hem.
Okay, now with both of those pinned, go ahead and sew that up with a cover stitch, a double needle, um, zigzag stitch, whatever um, you want to do for that. You make sure it has some stretch to it, and then, um, then we'll come back. So you now should have a completed pair of pet pajamas. How exciting. Now to find your fur baby and dry it on them. Um, I found my kitty cat and because Bella is sleeping. So we're going to try this on Peanut. And she's probably going to hate it, but we're going to do it anyway. Kitty kitty. Hey, kitty kitty. A nice fit. I was right. I was good to not do the bigger size for the waist because that would have been too big. Oh, so cute.